Well, I did it again. I can't believe it. Actually, I can. I don't know who I'm trying to kid. What's up, YouTube? I'm the Tatted Ball Guy, and welcome to my channel. If you've seen any of my videos before, seeing this box is no surprise. I've unboxed quite a few Fireflies, but only this model once before. However, it wasn't my guitar, so I had to give it up right after the demo. But this one is mine. I already cut the tape, so let's jump in and see what we got. Well, I'm pleased to say, just like the FFTL I bought from them, they've upgraded their styrofoam clamshell case. This top layer is most definitely a thicker piece of styrofoam than they used to send it with. Are you ready? Okay, we have our complimentary wire, Allen key, whammy bar. Okay, here we go. This is one of the Firefly models that I don't own. And I've been waiting for this color pattern to come back in stock before I finally pulled the trigger. Okay. I don't know why I was trying to do this nicely. I always wind up ripping it anyway. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What we have here is the FFST in the chameleon green. I'm not so sure the lighting in this room is going to do this justice, but the back of this guitar is looking incredible. And the front of it looks great too. However, it is more green than I was anticipating. Hmm. If you see over here, look at how the, the green turns to purple and blue. Really cool. And even on the front, more so at the top, depending on how the light hits. Oh yeah. Look at how the light, depending on how the light hits it then. Cause yeah, look at those purple. Woo wee. I am very excited. So what we have here is the FFST, Firefly's take on the Stratocaster shape. Listen to some of the specs on this. A roasted maple neck, a bone nut, locking tuners, stainless steel ball end frets, which are nice and smooth, and all of this for just $169, plus $30 shipping. There is a catch though, you have to live in the continental United States. For my friends in Canada, I'm sorry, Firefly doesn't ship up north. Firefly has continued to impress me over the years as they've increased the quality of their specs and the materials they use. I'm excited to tune this up and see how it sounds. I know it's a Strat, but I'm gonna tune it to drop D. So let's do it. So after I finished recording the video last night, I realized this is a Strat and you probably wanna hear some clean tones. So here we are. But before we jump in, I get a lot of questions about how well Firefly guitars hold their tune. Well, this is the perfect example. I tuned this guitar up last night to record the jam, followed by several video takes where I was really feeling the jam and giving the guitar a beating. Then it sat in my music room overnight, adjusting to the temperatures in the house. I just picked the guitar up and I didn't tune it yet. Remember, it was in drop D. So let's hear how it sounds over 12 hours later. First, let's start with the chord they showed me in my intro to guitar class in college. Don't judge me, I needed an easy A. Anyway, here it is. Not bad. Little variation of that. And remember, I was in drop D. Was oh, that milk? Not bad. Not bad at all. So if you ask me, Considering everything I put it through since its last tuning, it held its tune pretty well. So let's tune it up and give you some clean tones. Here are those same two chords now that we're all tuned up. It was pretty close. 
It's also worth mentioning that because this is a new guitar and it's going to adjust the temperature at my house, I did not engage the locking tuners. Not bad. So here's the one thing I'm noticing, and it might just be my ear. So tell me if you hear it too, or lack of hearing it. We have a five-way pickup selector down here, and I don't hear much of a difference between the pickup positions, especially when it's at the opposite ends. So here is what would traditionally be the bridge pickup. Now, if I switch it all the way to what should be in the neck position, it should get warmer but it seems like there's not much of a tone switch at all. I hear it, but it's very slight. I hear it more in the lower notes. And besides that clean tone, here's a little bit of a dirty blues tone. I can't play dirty blues, so sorry about that. So since I can't play dirty blues, here's my impression of someone faking it. Oh, and just one last thing that I didn't say in my wrap up. I still think this is an amazingly crafted instrument. As a friend once said, guitars are art that makes art. And this is the perfect example. But that being said, the fretboard feels a little dry and needs some lemon oil love. You can get a guitar cleaning kit like this on Amazon for like 20 bucks. And it has lemon oil. Man, I'm telling you, the camera does not do this justice, but when the light hits it right, the whole thing turns purple. You're just gonna have to take my word for it. final thoughts about this guitar, Firefly continues to impress me. I'm glad I finally got to add the strap to my collection and the color looks awesome. I know you really can't tell from the lighting and it looks more green, but as you tint it, you see the purple throughout. It reminds me of when you see this kind of paint job on a car and I've always thought that looked really cool. So now I'm glad to have it in a guitar. These quality specs crammed in under $200. How can you beat this? I'm comfortable with saying that this is one of the best strats for under $200, if not the best strat for under $200. In fact, if you know of any other strats under $200 that come with a roasted maple neck, locking tuners, stainless steel frets, let me know in the comments below, because I want to check them out. So now for the $10 million question, would I recommend this guitar? Absolutely. So that's going to do it for this one. I really appreciate you stopping by. 
And to all my new subscribers, welcome. Happy to have you. So I'm the Tatted Ball Guy. Thanks again. And before I go, remember, it doesn't matter the genre. Good music makes your head nod. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.